10,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. What's up, everyone? My name's Tyler, one of the editors and producer here uh, with the Hacking Applied Behavior Analysis channel. And I know I can speak on behalf of the team and say we are so grateful, so grateful for that we've already had 10,000 subscribers. We want to do a 10,000 subscriber giveaway um, just because we want to show our appreciation. So all you got to do, go below into the comments section. And if you're a professional in the field, tell us why you decided to go into the field of applied behavior analysis. And if you're not quite there yet, if you're still in school or in the early stages, that's okay. All you got to do is just tell us what interests you most about the field. And in one week on February 10th, we're going to go through the comments as a team and we're going to pick our favorite one. And then we will be in contact with you about where we can send our giveaway prize. Thank you so much again. And uh, here's Billy. Hi, I'm Billy Brown, board certified behavior analyst. Today we're going to talk about task list item C6. Task list item C6 is measuring trials at Criterion. And what that means is the amount of trials that it takes the organism to get to whatever goal you set for them, typically a mastery goal. So classic example you see out in the field is a discrete trial. We're trying to get somebody to figure out, you know, dis discriminate between the color of red and blue. How many trials did it take them to get red accurately and, and according to your, your mastery goal? A better real life example that you might use for yourself is if you're keeping track of, like if you're training for like a 5K and uh, there's a few apps out there like Couch to 5K and, and things like that where they'll actually track how many days it takes you to hit that first goal, which might be a mile, then how many days it takes you to hit that next goal, which is two miles. So for someone like me, who's completely out of shape, it might be you know, two weeks before I hit that first mile. And what you wanna do with that data is let it inform your next decision. So if I know that it takes me two weeks to make progress, then I can plan accordingly. I know I gotta hit 3.2 miles or whatever a 5K is, so I should expect to spend a month and a half getting into shape to, to get up to that. Um, so when we talk about tri trials to criterion, the key thing isn't just to track it and do nothing with it. You want to let it inform how quickly you should be updating programs, and it's a ballpark, but how quickly you should be updating programs and, and when you should be prepared to, to take your program to the next step. So if this was helpful, I'd like to hear some ways that you've used trials to criterion to help make your planning and, and your program development a little bit easier for you. So comment down below and hopefully you can give me some tips and tricks. Thanks.